Ahoy and welcome to the channel. Not long after the inception of aerial bombing, bomber crews quickly discovered that it was nearly impossible to hit a moving surface target on the open ocean from high altitude. Even with saturation bombing, the chances of scoring a hit were exceedingly low. In order for air power to be able to neutralize seaborne targets, a different style of attack had to be implemented. As airborne power became more effective, Navy sought to increase the number and quality of AA batteries and so a different type of arms race began, with entire classes of weaponry, aircraft and naval technology developed to fight a different type of warfare never seen before on the high seas. It's no secret that while Kaz rules the game in Ground RB, in naval a single aircraft can have a real tough time getting through anti-aircraft screens to deliver any meaningful damage. While the mission is hard, just remember a single aircraft scoring a kill on any size warship is considered a great victory and worth the cost. In this video we will explore a few different methods for attacking surface vessels and see just how effective we can be. One of the first techniques and what you're seeing right here was called the Swedish Turnip. Attributed to Martin Harlinghausen of the Luftwaffe, it was a low-level bombing technique used to increase the chances of a successful hit against lightly armed vessels and enemy shipping. The aim being to increase the ship's surface area available for the bomb to strike as well as offering the ability to skip the bomb across the water into the side of the hull. It was thought that a skipped bomb could penetrate through a thin hull or detonate below the keel. The flight profile of this attack is very low altitude with a speed between 300 and 600 km per hour. A higher speed will increase the distance a bomb will travel laterally. In the HE-111 you need to drop the bomb about 300 meters from the target. And also make sure to set a fuse or you'll risk losing your tail. Would you like to know more? Hit subscribe to keep the videos flowing. So what about when the target can fight back? Well, if a target has lots of AA, like a cruiser or a destroyer, the best bet is to use a high angle attack in a fast aircraft. We're going to dive down on the nose of this cruiser, aiming for where his bow is pointed, level the wings with his path of travel, pull up and drop, and they should hit. And there we go. They'll always go where you point them. At that kind of speed, at that dive angle, it's almost a straight drop. It's very useful against battleships too that don't have high angle AA guns. And if you use a very fast aircraft like the Ki-94 which has an incredible dive speed, you can defeat the traverse of these cruisers that are offering AA support. Dropping the bombs when our cursor touches his rear stack. Straight through the ammo. When you don't know where they are, but you still need to get someone killed, we're going to use a variation of the Swedish turnip where we're pulling up and just dropping a saturation bombing run right here. Drop, 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 drop. Something will hit. We had a direct hit to the magazine and a detonation. Unfortunately, there's too much AA here and a big, big bird like this A20 is not going to survive. These heavy two-engined attackers generally have very good dive speed so you can afford to use a high dive angle. And having four bombs lets us be pretty liberal with the drops. So we'll go drop, drop, and then two for the cadence, drop, drop, and they should pay off. One hit, two hits, two kills. So we'll slowly turn back in pop up and drop these and they will wreck him hopefully he won't be on the ball and we'll be do fine oh damn it I <laughs> still got him speed is not really a factor here until we try and tr throw it over the point so we're gonna need to drop our speed because he's very close line it up straight Get him nice and low so that he can't get us with his AA fire. Pull up gently, release. Booyah! <laughs> Excellent. Excellent. <laughs> One weapon that's fairly new is napalm, so today's mission is to try and get a couple of napalm kills and try and develop some new tactics for napalm. Let's do a barrel roll and drop on some sticky juices on his nose. Oof, Bernie, Bernie. 
toasty! <laughs> no kill, unfortunately, just an assist. Got a couple of destroyers around this, this cliff here. If we can sneak up on them before the AA sees us. Same trick, going for the nose where we can. Try and get under their guns where possible. Do another flip trick. Nope, not going to pay off. Oh, we've clipped him. He's on fire. Got some damage over time happening. Free money. The score's going up. Score's still ticking up. Score's still ticking up. We're still earning silver lions. That's amazing. Free money. Like free money. I'm not sure how many aircraft actually have napalm, but it was interesting to find this aircraft had it in the French tree. 4.3. It's a nice little companion to the French destroyer that I've been test driving. Oh, Clemson's on fire. We'll get some some free money again as he burns. Oh, he's put it out fairly quickly that time. That's not as exciting. Try and get this Russian guy. Lots of AA. Cut across the nose to try and defeat the traverse of their AA guns. And at the last moment, swing back in and aim for their nose. He still got us, but we got him. Tick up that free money. Free is questionable. Five battles so far and no kills with the napalm. It's proving to be quite a challenge and I'm not giving up until I get a kill. And a little guy here, he should be fine. It should be, should be ours. Drop him now. Oh no, they've bounced. Oh no, we just committed war crimes on the fishing village. Oh no, all the fishermen. This little guy is proving to be quite a challenge. We went back to get some more napalm to try on him. I'm going to just absolutely drop it right on top of him. There we now. Yes. Detonation. Oh, and one bounce too. <laughs> it seems to detonate instantly if it makes contact with the vessel. We've got one tank left. We'll drop this on him. We're a bit sorry in the damage department. Flamakaze. <laughs> Flamakaze attack. Complete. He's still on fire, but I'm not earning any money for this one. That's unfortunate. Oh, it looks like one of my super slow French torpedoes has finally made it to its destination. Once I've run out of all of my lives, that, that ship there has got a lot of AA on us. So we'll go for this. Oh, there's a Corvette. Project 1331M. This is a very dangerous target. If he sees us with his Sea Whiz, we'd be screwed. Have some freedom fire. Oh, we don't say freedom in France, do we? <laughs> do they like freedom? I can't remember. I probably should have tried this in arcade, so I didn't have to spend most of my time getting more napalm, so I could drop more napalm. I got the napalm. I'm absolutely determined to kill something more than a fisherman with this napalm before this video has ended. My whole plan for the video has gone out the window. It's now singularly focused on napalm kills. I'm a little bit like that. You'll learn that. Right, nose attack. He can't see us. He's got no AA on. Drop the fire. Beautiful destruction. Now, he, now we're getting the money. Oh, stop. The burning stopped at the 420. We can do better than that. We've got one tank left. Aiming for the nose. He does seem to have taken a fair bit of damage. I might be due to the gunfire. Another fire tank. Right on the bridge. Get some more damage over time. It's very underwhelming. It seems to burn for longer on larger ships, so cruisers and battleships just burn for ages. Destroyers, not so much. But he's sinking, so we'll put some fire into his bridge, take out the turrets. We need to secure this kill. This has to be... This has to be our napalm destroyer kill. Do a loop to the loop. Bring it around. Get these 50s on target. Now he's turned his AA on. Now he knows he's in trouble. Spread across the deck. Come on, sink, you bastard. Get around. One more time, surely. You better not turn on the flooding repair right now. 
I'm coming back from my 30s. Turrets, bridge, kill all the squishy things. 1% flooding. And it was our kill. It says down the bottom, Mark 78 Napalm. We took that. I'm taking that. It's mine. I killed him. Yes, it is. That counts. I'm not doing it again. I forgot to record the last match, but I got cursed out for dropping fire on <laughs> fire on a destroyer. He was so angry. He didn't have fire repair kits. Oh, we're gonna get double flame. We're all on fire. Everyone's on fire, including myself. US destroyer leader going straight through the flames, adding to our bounty of damage over time. We've nearly made 3,000 silver lines from that one drop. Everyone's on fire. It's a fire sale. Everyone's invited. That poor Project 50 is still burning. We're still taking a score. A thousand mission points from one napalm drop. And it says I got a kill. Unfortunately, I don't think we're going to get him. He's no, he's no longer on fire. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Make sure to hit the like button and I'll catch you next time. Commander Tyrael, out.